Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at my manga collection. I have not done a video like this since October of last year, so let's get right into it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. We have a few shelves to look at. Starting up here, we have the Neon Genesis Evangelion Complete Collection. This is the only manga I have fully completed, with a few figures on the shelf with Mari, Rei, Asuka, and Karu. I love Neon Genesis Evangelion. It was one of my first anime that I watched. I did get into anime around early uh, 2020, late 2019. When the pandemic happened, I watched Evangelion and I loved it. I fell, fell right in love into it and it's just such a great series that a lot of people should definitely check out. Down here we have my Bleach collection. We have a few single volumes right here and then we have a few omnibuses and then a the Can't Feel You on World Light novel and Burn the Witch. Bleach is one of my new favorite anime that I've been really, really loving. I really love all the supporting cast. I love how big the world is in Bleach and I cannot wait for the Thousand Year Blood War to come out later this year. One of my favorite characters from Bleach right now definitely has to be Yoroichi. I love how like helpful she is in the like starting arcs of Bleach when they get into the Soul Society probably one of my favorite parts of Bleach as a whole, the whole, you know, re retrieval of, uh, of Rukia arc in the Soul Society. Moving right along, we have my Dragon Ball volumes with OG Dragon Ball, a few Dragon Ball Z volumes, and a few Super volumes. We do have this Ultra Instinct figure that I got at Comic-Con a few years ago. As you can see, the eyes look a little bit derpy. I, that's why I love it. It's just... It's, I think it's a knockoff, and I just love how like crazy and silly it is. And then right here, we have Monkey D. Luffy with my two volumes of One Piece. We have the three-in-one and volume four. Down here, we have all my Chainsaw Man volumes I have. I have one through 11. I'm just mixing, missing volume six and volume two. I did buy volume two a long time ago in Japanese from Kino Kniya. I just love the art of power on this volume, especially on the front, and she's also on the back, and the art is just really nice. I've really been enjoying Chainsaw Man. I cannot wait for the anime coming out also in October. October is going to be a really busy month for an anime. So here's my Jujutsu Kaisen figures, but SH Figuarts Gojo Satoru. I love the covers, the front covers for these volumes, especially volume 14 with Sukuna on the front. Love the art. Then we got my Demon Slayer volumes, Shaman King, my Naruto volumes, my Full Metal, and then some miscellaneous volumes like Kaiju, Kaiju Number 8, Spy X Family, my two Death Note, two Bakuman, Hunter x Hunter, and just again more miscellaneous volumes. We also have Fire Punch right here, and then uh, Alphonse from Full Metal. Moving down, we have the Evangelion illustrations from 2007 to 2017 and Rohan at the Louvre with a little Ray Funko Pop. Moving to the second shelf, we have a Naruto Shippuden Grandista next to Volume 1 Naruto, a Super Saiyan Goku, and a Ichigo Kurosaki figure, and then the Japanese volumes of Bleach. Down here, it's really hard to tell, but behind there is all my My Hero Academia volumes. Behind uh, Deku and All Might, we have the little promotional pamphlet that they gave us for the World Heroes Mission movie. Come on, focus. And then next to that, we have most of my Attack on Titan volumes. We do have volume 33 and 34. I cannot wait for part three. That is coming out later, I think January of next year. I can't wait for that. I love this Barnes & Noble exclusive. I like the little mini poster. And yes, I do have that in Japanese as well. Right there. And then this is the little guidebook. This is the Attack on Titan guidebook, the final version of it. I got this also at Kino Kinia sometime around last year. Very, very nice little book. And I love the art right here. It's so, so cute. And yes, I do use Funko Pops for most of the books that are showing. So yeah. Again, more, more miscellaneous volumes, like some of my Berserk volumes that aren't in the deluxe format. 
Mob Psycho, and Soul Eater. I can't wait for season three of Mob Psycho. And also, I found this at Half Price Books a long time ago. Evangelion, the Sinji Ikari Erasing Project. This is volume four, it has Asuka on the very front. On the back, it has, Ka uh, it has um, Kaji and Misato. The Evangelion Sinji Ikari Raising Project is a more slice of life oriented version of the uh, Evangelion universe. It's a really fun slice of life read. You guys should definitely check it out. The final Omnibus is coming out in January of next year. I might pick it up, I don't know, because like again, these volumes, especially like the individual, are kind of expensive right now. Same with the Omnibuses, so I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but it is Evangelion and Evangelion is one of my favorite series, so I might pick it up. Here's uh, Attack on Titan Omnibus, probably the best way to collect Attack on Titan in my opinion. And then the rest of the shelf is just JoJo. We got the JoJo's of Bizarre Adventure Part 3 uh, single. This is volume 12. I love the art of Jotaro right there. And then we have the uh, hardcover version of Part 3 and then Part 4 and Part 5 with Josuke right here. And then we have Narancha and Bucharati uh, standing in front of most of my Japanese volumes for JoJo. So yeah, that's basically the JoJo shelf. And then down there is just some boxes for figures. Let's go to the next shelf. On the very top of this shelf, we have some more Dragon Ball. We got Ultra Instinct Omen, Super Saiyan Goku and Bardock, Super Saiyan Gogeta, and Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta with a few of my omnibuses. Well, the three and ones at the back with Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Then we have my Komi-san uh, collection right here. We have volumes one through seven, 12, 15 through 18. I know volume 19 came out this month. I still need to pick that up. That one has a really beautiful cover, by the way. Uh, it has like a really nice autumn cover. I'll have it on the screen right now. And then here's volume 20. And then here's my quintessential quintuplets volumes with Miku. I did get this from Downtown Comics up in Greenfield, Indiana. And then High School Host Club that I got at Comic-Con. And then at Love Stage and Trinity 7. These are some really nice um, romance uh, and like slice of life volumes and series that you guys should definitely go check out. And then below this shelf, we have some more miscellaneous slice of life and romance volumes like Gigant, Oshinoko, Kaguya-sama, Nana, Pretty Face, and then my, my Dress Up Darling volumes. And then we have Watakoi and Bunny Go Senpai, and then my Hatsune Miku figures. I really, really enjoyed the Dress Up Darling anime. If you guys have not seen that, guys, definitely please go check that out. It's such a adorable, such an adorable um, anime. And that's why I picked up the manga. I know volume six is coming out in August, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Over here, we have Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta with Dragon Ball in full color. And then Genos with uh, my only One Punch Man volume. Down here, we have my Yu Yu Hakusho little display with my Funko Pops and the JP volume of volume 10, I think. Really love these Funko Pops. Here's my little corner for my Isekai stuff. We have ReZero Volume 1, the Konosuba spin-off, which is getting an anime adaptation soon, right there. Overlord Volume 1, uh, Reincarnated as a Slime, and Ren, one of my favorite anime characters. She's just so cute. Here's my Fate display. We have Mash from Fate Grand Order. The Rebel Tech Saber that I reviewed a few months ago, almost a year now. Uh, the Fate Stay Night manga, the Fate Apocrypha manga, uh, Figma Astolfo, and then a band press, no, a Sega Prize Astolfo, Saber Nero Claudius from Fate, uh, Fate Extra, I think that's what it's called. But yeah, this is my little Fate uh, display. Below that is my Gundam display. I still need to build this Gundam Helios. I do have Gundam EZ-8 or EZ-8, Gundam Death Scythe, and Gundam RX-78-2. And then down here are my anime DVDs and VHSs. We have some Dragon Ball VHSs, Evangelion Death and Rebirth on DVD, and some of my Dragon Ball 
uh, DVDs and Blu-rays and Shrek on DVD, Shrek 2. And then uh, Yugi and Joey from Yu-Gi-Oh. So that is my manga collection for 2022. June of 2022 to be precise. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stick around for more vlogs and more manga hunting and a lot more stuff coming for this channel. Please, please like and subscribe. See you next time.